Once upon a time in a kingdom far, 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 far. We get it. Gee, okay. Far away, there lived a king with his lovely, love, I guess, lovely daughter. Wake up, princess. It's already noon, you lazy head. I have something to tell you. Ah, uh, hello, dad. Uh, what do you want to tell me? So, you're probably wondering why I have been going out of the castle very often these days. No, not really. <clears throat> As I was saying, I recently have been going out because I've been finding a prince for you. Now, I- Wait, what? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm still sixth in that. I forgot about it. Listen first. Don't interrupt me. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I need to find a prince for you to marry. Because, well... Well, the princess doesn't have the prettiest past. Hey, I thought I was telling a story! Dude, back off! It's my life. Back off. Okay, fine. Wow, these characters are really like to interrupt, don't they? Anyways, the princess's past was always a mystery to her, but not to everyone else. Oh, is my princess excited for her first feast? Your Highness, be careful today. I don't have a good feeling about this feast. What's wrong? I can't exactly say, but remember, Your Highness, never judge a book by its cover until you read it. What is that supposed to mean? Also, she knows there's a door, right? May I come in? It's pouring outside. No, I will not let a peasant attend my daughter's first feast. Can I just stay inside by the fireplace for a while? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I won't let a peasant blah blah. Hey, do not mock me. So was I the only one impressed that he could do that or what? Pretty cool, right? Silence! Yeah. So, how did you do that? You see, I'm actually a witch. Wait, no, a wizard. I can transform, do magic, and even curse people. Oh, that reminds me. You should have listened to your fortune teller. Because of the way you treated the poor man, I shall curse your daughter. I shall give her a curse like no other. From now on, she will be cursed while where she'll fall into a dark, deep sleep and when she reaches 17. And this curse will be broken if she finds her true love, but in a condition that he has to have the same face as her, regardless of his social status. No! What? So you got me cursed? And on top of that, you didn't even tell me anything? <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. I was trying to protect you, so I had to wait until you were old enough to hear this. Well, have you made any progress finding him? Unfortunately, no. Seriously? You caused this mess and you can't even fix it? No wonder that Mr. me. Ouch! I'm doing my best. And I'm sure I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait a second. Can you, can you just ask the fortune teller where he is? Who? The wizard? Yeah, the, and while we're at it, try asking the fortune teller how Earth was made. No, 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 not the wizard. The boy who can break the curse, Dad. Ooh, double kill. A no would be enough. Nice. So anyway, the 
king searched for the fortune teller's cottage and went to see her. I told you so. <laughs> Thanks for the warm greeting. And you realize I'm still the king. Oh right, welcome to my home, your highness. What brings you here today? Well, you remember how my daughter was cursed by the cheeky wizard, right? Oh, you mean when you didn't listen to what I said? Yes, I remember. Can you help me find the man that is bound to break the curse? Why should I? Well, for one, you still work for me. And two, I can reward you with so much gold. Uh, that's right. <clears throat> Very well then. Here's the one you seek. Turns out, the boy he seeks is a regular farmer. Although the king was reluctant to let his daughter marry him, he figured that as long as his daughter lived, all would be well. So the king traveled through mountains, rushing rivers, and hot deserts to find that boy. And eventually, he did. Well, I want to find a farmer boy. How? How can you be right here, my daughter? Wait, what? I'm not your daughter, bro. I am a farmer, you know? I know your motive, girl. Let's go back to the kingdom. No, I don't even know you, and you are... What? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, and stop calling me your daughter. My soldier, pick her up now. Hey, 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 please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ah! Hello, dear. Hi there. Wait, what? Princess? Then you must be... Hey, stop telling me. Huh. Yeah, dude. I've been telling you that since this time. I apologize. I thought my daughter was trying to treat me. Nah, I was the one who literally told you to find that dog. Or should I remind you that you curse your own daughter? Also, let's face it. Ouch, would that be strike three? Yeah, I'll call that a strike three. Also, did you just technically compliment her own face? Right, right. Anyways, I'll let you two get to know each other. Again, really weird, but anyways, the princess and the prince got to know each other and became what you can call as friends. Maybe even more. The princess, farmer boy, and the king became very close and eventually already like a family. Soon it was the day before the wedding. The king was getting everything ready until an unexpected guest arrived. Who could it be? Hey, miss me? You monster! What are you doing here? You see, on the day of your daughter's first feast, my sister predicted that your daughter had to someday marry a farmer boy with the same face as her, but she didn't know why and how to tell you because she didn't think you'd want to have your daughter marry anything less than a prince. So, well, she called me and told me to tell you, but she never said that I couldn't fake curse your daughter. Well, at first, I was just going to tell you, but since you acted like a jerk, I decided to teach you a lesson that to never judge a book by its cover. What? I'm so angry with you! But it's almost my daughter's wedding, so I won't kill you. So, what you're saying is my daughter isn't hers, and she has found the true love? Thank you! Um, this is weird, but yeah, consider it as your early wedding gift. The next day, the boy and the princess got married, and the king was happier than ever, and they lived happily away. You didn't really think this was the end of the story, did you? I mean, yes, yeah, some chapters may be done, but we're not finished with the book yet, are we?